TV. One of the first shows I ever put up was how important it is to inspect your paint before you take your paint out of wherever it is that you're buying it from, okay? And hopefully that's from a local paintball store, okay? Most paintball stores do not have a problem with you uh, before you buy a box of paint, opening it up and inspecting each one of the bags very carefully to make sure there's no broken paint, okay? The manufacturers, such as RP Sure and Draxis and stuff like that, Evil, you name it, most of them will give a credit back to the dealer for any broken paint that they have in the boxes of paint, okay? So which means that if they buy a skid of, let's say, 100 plus cases of paint, and four or five of them have broken paint in them, they will get a credit back on their next order. So always inspect your paint before you bring it out of the store. Now let's say, worst case scenario, you buy, you buy a bag of paint, or buy a box of paint, you take it home, and one of the bags has a break in it. I'm gonna show you my, my way of cleaning the paint out. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take our pair of pliers, grab a bag of paint, find a paintball, and then squeeze it, okay? And mush it around. Now hopefully you can see, okay, the bottom of that bag is now soaked with paint because we took a pair of pliers and, and uh, popped it, okay? Now the, the best thing that I can tell you to do is first off, if, if you get to the field and you realize that one of your bags of paint does have a, a, a you know, that there's, a, there's a mess in it, the best thing I can tell you to do is save this bag of paint until the very end of the day. Don't put it in your gun at the beginning of the day, okay? Because this is just going to cause your gun and cause your loader and everything just to be an absolute mess. So save the bag of paint until the very end of the day. This is typically what I do. First thing I do is I take the paint and with a pair of scissors I cut the top okay all the way across then what I do is get a clean dry towel that preferably has just been washed doesn't have any dirt or anything on it old towel and take the paint and then roll and then pour it out over the table okay now what you're going to want to do also if, if this is the only bag that you have to um, store your paint in usually what I do is I inspect the outside of it first and make sure that the outside of it is clean and then what I do is I flip the bag inside out okay And we can see all the mess that's on the back. Now what I do is I use the back side of the towel, not the side that I've got the, the paint on. Use the back side of the towel to clean the back up as much as I possibly can, you know, on the outside. This way it's not sticking on anything. Okay. Now that the bag is clean, um, you know, on the inside, now we know the inside of the bag is clean. What we're going to want to do from here is to um, take the paint and spread it all out. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look for the broken balls or the balls that are that are uh, either cracked or the shell or stuff like that okay so here we go here's the one that we uh, that we uh, use the pliers to break so let's go ahead and set that aside um, I think here was another one that was in there broken already um, set that aside now what you're going to want to do is take the the clean side of the towel and just start rubbing the paint balls um, and, and trying to wipe as much of the oil and as much of the, the paint off the outside of the paint balls. So take a clean towel, just start wiping them, and you can start to see, you know, as you visually inspect the paint balls, you can actually start to see the, uh, the paint balls starting to clean up. So what we're doing right here is we're just wiping the outside of the paint balls down with a clean towel. And like I said, you don't want to use this paint early on in the day. You just want to set this bag of paint aside and use it towards the very, very last part of the day. Uh, usually, when people are kind of screwing around and just having a good time, you don't want to be cleaning your gun. Um, you know, just you know, 20 minutes after you just arrived to the field. So you want to look around, look for any other paintballs that are that are suspect, that are just really coated, that are not getting cleaned up. Okay, so they're starting to look pretty good. There's a couple more. Um, you know, don't don't take any chances either with this. I mean, if, if this paint, if it does not look like it's cleaning up, just throw it out. Um, because even though it may feel like you're only, you know, that you're wasting a paintball now, but you got to remember that the other 50 or 60 that you're going to shoot behind that broken one is just going to disintegrate anyway. So any paint that just looks like it's really coated, really uh, just in really bad shape, just set it, uh, you know, just set it aside. Don't take the chance of running it through the gun. Okay. So I think we got most of the suspect, you know, the suspect balls out of there. I mean, we can see, you know, obviously this junk, you know, this, you know, trying to put this, you know, this garbage through the gun, the gun's not going to shoot. So let's just go ahead and set that aside. And now, from what I can tell here, where's another one? 
you know, what I can tell here, most of the paint that's here is going to be in pretty good shape. Then what I usually do is then just start taking it, gathering it up, and uh, putting it into the bag, um, you know, to use later on in the day. But, uh, but like I said, you definitely want to make sure that, uh, that you're not using this paint at the beginning of the day or the rest of your day. It's just going to be hell. So that's how I go through the, uh, go through the paint if I do happen to have a bag. Now, me personally, it's for me, I, it's worth it to me. I just throw the bag out. I mean, that, that's usually what I do. I just take the entire bag of paint and throw it out. It's not worth the time that it's going to take me to clean out my loader, clean out my barrel, clean out my detents, clean out my eyes, remove my bolt, clean out my breech, you know, clean out, um, you know, my, my, my raceway, the inside of my loader shells, my, you know, the, my whole inside of the gun and my barrel, my front barrel tip and barrel back and, and all of that stuff and the eyes and the electronics and the grip frame and all the stuff that's going to leak into it. It's just not worth it to me to, to risk having a barrel break. For me, I'll usually just throw the whole bag out if I see it or bring it back to the store and tell them, hey, you know, I, I, I bought this bag of paint, I took it home, and when I took a look at it, I inspected it. Then from here, just take a zip tie, wrap it around it, and uh, that should be about it. So hopefully this helps maybe, uh, you know, salvage some of this paint. Just inspect it before you take it home. Thanks for tuning in.